Chair of the Select Board in Rochester, I find that due to the state of emergency declared by Governor Scott as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and pursuant to Addendum 6 to Executive Order 01-20 and Act 92, this public body is authorized to meet electronically. And we're using the Zoom platform to do this. And anybody that um, wants access to these meetings, and we add this person in here that wants to get in, can either um, find it on the town website or request to be emailed invites or find it on the publicly posted um, notices and agendas throughout town. So without further ado, I would like to start this meeting. Yeah, I had to unhook that computer to hook up this computer. So I don't have the documents at hand. Um, Pat, you want to um, guide us through the, uh, through the That's agenda? Good. I do, I do. I quite read that there. Uh, uh, agenda is to approve the education tax rate. Uh, that's the only thing that's on the agenda. Yep. The non-homestead tax rate set by the state for non-homestead is $1.48.15. And the homestead tax rate for residents is $1.5155. Interesting. So the homestead tax rate is now higher than the um, non-homestead tax rate. That's a switch, isn't it? It's often the case as I deal with real estate in different towns, it's definitely not unusual. Yeah. Yeah. So this is set by the state, Pat? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So what were you going to say, Julie? Oh, sorry. We had to change a couple things on the tax work uh, worksheet. Uh, Louis lodged another um, change on his 411. So uh, we had to put the information into the worksheet. So uh, it changed it just a hair for the municipal rate because it was 0.566 or something. Oh, I don't have that one in front of me. Uh, what is it now? It's 0.5768. 0.5669. Wait a minute. Okay, Julie, I'm going to wait until you guys approve this before I write anything down. I'm getting okay. <laughs> so, so do we have to okay that new, we must have to okay the new municipal rate also I, then, right? It's, no. it's, yeah, it was like 5665. It went up to 5669. Um, we had, to put, Louis had to put in another um, veteran exemption. Nah. So it, it, you know, bumped it up just a little bit just for the municipal tax rate. And um, and then when we put in this 1.4815 for the uh, non-residential education tax rate, the final tax rate went to 0.5768494. As you, you, Julie has sent you this, right? Uh, no, oh, actually I okay. haven't sent this out. Okay. What was that again? It was 0.5768494. That's Again, the municipal rate, the, correct? The, the municipal plus the, um, uh, what is it called? The non-approved non uh, non state education, non-residential tax rate. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna you're gonna say this all out when you do when you make a motion to approve this, right? Yeah, good idea. Because I'm a little confused. <laughs> I'm <sorry. All> right. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> well, we don't have it on the agenda. To um, we've already approved the municipal rate, so can we add this to the agenda and approve the new rate without it being duly warned? I think that since the, the we were warned to be setting the um, education tax right, uh, and think that it's you know it's pretty, pretty darn pretty darn it's close. It, 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 it's about getting the final tax you know total tax rate done to get the bills out. So I I think that we can go ahead and make a statement about what they're what they're both going to be and and what the final combined tax rate is I think that that's um I would hope we don't get in trouble for that and I I, I would like to think that no one would argue with adding a veterans ex exemption to the grand list so I'm, I'm fine with it just need to say I, it. I am too I, I think we have to get it out there 
Uh, we should make note of it though, and uh, and just note it in our minutes yeah. that we had a had something come up in an emergency kind of issue, and we needed to address it. And so, we felt that this was a proper way to do it. So, who's got the the final numbers clearly defined that we can make a motion? I think we should defer to Julie to put that down. Well, you put it right there. Okay. So the um, the non ed, non residential education rate is one point four eight one five. Okay. Wait. 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 Okay. Um, Non, a non-household tax rate for education tax rate, okay. Mm -hmm. And 1.4815, okay. Um, and then the preliminary rate, the final tax rate is 0.5768494. Final tax rate is 0. 0.5768494. So it's just a point and then five, seven, six, eight, four, nine, four. That's how I write it. Correct. Okay. And so that's the final tax rate, final education tax rate, final, how do I say that? Municipal. It's the municipal plus the um, tax rate on the non-approved contracts. It's because we have contracts out there that are not producing tax revenue, we have to kick in the money and so that's the uh, that's the non-residential education tax rate. Okay. So, if I, okay. Full um, plus. So, if I say, following discussion, the board made a motion to approve the um, non-homestead educational tax rate at one point four eight point one five cents, and the point. Oh. No, why don't you just say that the board approved a final tax rate of 0.5768494. Okay, so don't even bother with that first one. Okay, yeah, I think, right. Okay, so the final municipal tax rate is 0 0.5768494. Correct. It's not it's just the for, for what period of time? The final tax rate. Just the final tax rate. It's not the final municipal tax rate. It's the final, final tax, tax rate. rate. And so that's, um, and for what's the period of time, should I say for 2021 or for what? For fiscal year 21. Yeah. Fiscal year uh, FY21. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry to bother you, but I just want to no, make that's it, all right. it's, it's confusing and I want to make sure I get it correct in the paper. <laughs> Very confusing, yes. <laughs> um, the, other, the other thing that we need to um, also, the select board would need to decide on, and I don't know if it can be done in this, this meeting, but before we print tax bills, um, we please ask if you'd like to waive the penalty for the HS-122. Late filing. The late filing. We waived it last year. I, I think in consideration of the the um, the awkwardness around the late bills, we're waiting on the information from the state, and that, that um, I'd move to waive those penalties again. I was in that. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, yeah. so the board voted to waive the late filing penalty um, for the H, the H Homestead H Declaration. For the Homestead Declaration. Okay. So that's what how it should be worded. The board also voted to waive the late filing penalty for the Homestead Declaration. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. For the same period, right? Yes. Thank you. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> no, it's all right. Okay. Should you put the tax of uh, the um, payment dates in? Uh, they will go on to the when we do the tax bills. We haven't. Um... So that was my other question, Julie. Do you have an estimated date when you may be sending out the tax bills? You've been mailing them out. It looks like we're going to be printing on Wednesday. Okay, so Wednesday the 23rd. So if I just said they should go out later this week. That's good, yeah. Yeah, they'll go out by the end of the week, yep. So we're looking at an end due date for uh, the first installment is when? So it would be uh, October 20, or uh, no, uh, June, October 25th. Over, would it be 25 if the bill? Well, we print them on the 23rd. Oh, I see. 
So probably, probably October 23rd. So if I said tax bills are expected to be mailed out by the end of the week with the first payment due on October 23rd? Or should we do the 23rd? I think the 25th. 25. If the tax bills go out on the 25th, 25th is on Sunday. 25th is a Sunday. Well, the 25th is a Sunday. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at, we could do the 27th yeah, yeah. because we're closed on Monday. Yeah. Okay. It looks like the 27th of October. 27th. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And there will be, there'll be no penalty for any of that. Um, that is the due date. There isn't usually a penalty on the first one anyway. Uh, I mean, interest. Yeah. Well, if they miss that due date. Yeah, if they miss, they miss the 27th, yes. If yeah. they miss the 27th. Because we've got people pretty confused at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Including ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of that going around. I'm scratching my head over here. <laughs> you, know, you know, once you see this spreadsheet, it'll make sense to you. Yeah, so we'll have a payment due on October 27th and a payment due on November 15th. No. No. No, not do, we only we only are requiring three. Yeah, we split it into thirds. So what is the what is the next payment? That will stay the same. The February and May payment. Will stay and May. Okay. Yep. Okay. Good enough. So uh, the other two payments are due in February and May. Yeah. Payments. What do we do? And they're they're the same dates. I think they're the fifteenth. Yeah. Uh, well, no, they won't be the 15th no. because they fall on the weekend. So we decided on, uh, so we decided on February 16th and May 17th. Okay. Thank you for putting up with all my questions. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, it helps to clarify. You guys have anything else you need to decide? Or? Well, one thing I guess we did, we make a vote to um, approve the rates. Now, I guess I would move to approve as um, so clearly stated. <laughs> I second that. All in clearly fair. state them. Do. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So what, are you clearly stating them now? <laughs> I don't dare. I think we'll get oh, worry, I'm not. I'm not going to mention that the select board was confused about this. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'd say the select board was relieved to finally put it to rest. Hooray, hooray, right? Yeah, that's the way I would phrase yeah. it, too. Okay, should I say the select board was shooting off fireworks? Because no. <laughs> no, we don't want to start any fires. Oh, that's right, God, we've had enough <laughs> power. Any fires, we had that at the substation yesterday, yeah. yeah. Hey, the fried squirrel, I thought that was, I just talked to Frank about the fried squirrel, so. Yeah. Is that what, what the reason why the power is out? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, currently it fried one of the computers at the hardware store too. So I've oh, got really? a crisis on my hands at the hardware. Uh. No register. Oh no. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> that little squirrel did a lot of <laughs> problems. It made a lot of problems. But he paid for it. Yeah. All right. Um, I think that's it, right? Right. Okay. Thank you. I'll have this uh, tax worksheet here for you to sign. Um, all okay. three of you. Yeah, we'll come in and do that. Okay. Yep. I'll be over. Uh, and, and if you'd like, I could send that over to you too. Is that something you'd like in an email, just so you could see it? Or I'll just as soon stop in and sign it. Okay. No yep. problem. Okay. Yeah, I'll stop and sign it. Yep. All right. Thank you all. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day, everyone. Now, folks.